That is insane. This multi-tool does over 10,000 damage. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today we are going to be finding and I'm going to show you how to max out your multi-tool for the most damage in the game. This multi-tool will do the most damage in the entire game, bar none. You cannot beat it. So if you like that, hit that like button. And I've noticed we've just crossed over 76,000 subscribers on the channel. That is amazing. That is so awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. You guys are you guys are amazing. But we are trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you're not subscribed, you can do me a favor, please go down there and hit that red subscribe button for me. And that way we can get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Besides, if you're here watching No Man's Sky, you know I make a ton of No Man's Sky stuff. So you should be subscribed. Anyway, let's jump into the video. So you can get it with any alien multi-tool. I'm going to show you how to get an alien multi-tool right now, but you're going to need a, a portal and you're going to need to know all the glyphs. If you don't know how to do any of that stuff, link up top and down below in the description because I have a lot of uh, No Man's Sky videos up. But... I specifically go over and I search the No Man's Sky Coordinates Exchange, the NMS Coordinates Exchange. You know I love creeping over there. And I found this multi-tool uh, post by Gundam1516, or 1515, sorry, I can't read. So all credit goes to Gundam1515. He's the one who found it. I'm just going to show you guys how to get it. So let's just jump into it right now. Let's put in these coordinates for you. And remember... When you're always hunting for stuff, turn off your multiplayer. Make sure you're in the Euclid Galaxy, the starter galaxy. And let's get in there. So the first one is a boat. Then it's the bird. Then it's the whale. Then it is the spider. Then Triforce. The flux capacitor. The bird. The uh, moon, the starship, the boat, the whale, and then the dino. So remember, turn off your multiplayer. That way you don't got to fight anyone for this. And also, make sure you're in the Euclid galaxy. And you can use any alien multi-tool. So if you have an alien multi-tool, you're already ahead of the game. I would, I'm going to put a timestamp here to uh, show you when you have to go to to get to the good information. But if you don't have a multi-tool, an alien multi-tool specifically, this is where you get one. So we made it to the other side. Now, there is an important piece to this. You're going to have to actually save and reload. So what I do is I jump into my, uh, my starship right here. When you get out, you create a, an autosave, and you're just gonna reload that autosave, all right? So let's do that right now. So once you've reloaded, let's jump into our ship. We have to go to a different planet in order to find this multi-tool. So let's go up into the atmosphere, and I will show you which one they get to. Okay, let's stop, all right. So this is the planet. Oh, let's get rid of this asteroid. This is the planet you're going to be looking for. Now, it might be named something different if you're on a different uh, system. I'm playing on PC right now. And so that is what it's named on PC. But it might be named something different if you're on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. But just remember, it's this planet right here. It's a humid planet with uh, copper, star bulb, uh, paraffinium, sodium, and it's a yellow and red planet. The planet will look the same. The name might be different, though. So make sure it's that planet. Now let's head on over there. Oh, look at how awesome this red planet looks, you guys. This is so cool. Now that looks like it's a base, so we don't need to actually go there. What we're actually looking for, and if you actually... Let me slow down a bit. Look over here. It says, uh, New Yenomimata. Yenomata. It's a negative 5.22 and a negative 128. We're actually looking for coordinates negative 1.54 
and negative one to eight point zero zero and so let's actually head over there we should be really close to where we need to be looks like those uh comm stations are actually going to mark our uh, location that we need to be so let's head on over there yep it looks like the comm stations marked it so let me land real fast still here yeah all right so if you're in first person in your uh, starship just make sure to la land or look for negative 1.54 and negative 127.99 that's generally where it's gonna be if you it, there might not be comm stations on playstation and xbox one on pc there is a ton but just in case you have to do it the hard way if they don't load in or whatever that's where you have to go so let's come in here and we are gonna buy a multi-tool let's go over to the bar box right here and look at that it's right here now the reason we want an alien multi-tool is look at that already right off the bat damage potential 3996 that's already how much damage it does now it takes into account it does have a scattered blaster already on on it but it also has a, a bolt caster and you can't get rid of the bolt caster but i mean it's already doing damage like that and so alien multi-tools are built for damage they are the most they have the most damage in the game if you get an experimental like what i have on me right now let's compare my i have an experimental multi-tool right here this one is me more geared towards uh scanning range so if you're mining things and you're scanning things a uh an experimental one will be the best but if you want to do the most damage you want to go with an alien multi-tool that's why i'm going for this one so i don't have anything in here we're going to trade it this one's going to cost you seven million five hundred thousand units so be ready to pay that if you're not going to trade one in so i got it now what you can do is i have multiple multi-tools on me so if you press down on your d-pad go all the way over to this gear icon select that one and if you go all the way over to the left again you can swap your multi-tool now this doesn't mean you can trade it or anything like that that means i have three different multi-tools and so i could trade i could switch between all three multi-tools so this is my main the gleaming space-time beam it's an experimental as you can see these are what experimentals look like for the most part now as you can see look at this my scanner range 1477 that's pretty good and it's mining beam is going to be really strong as well but my damage potential is 8500 and that is not even the max you can get this is just me general you know throwing some scatter blaster in there but you could also trade it go to the same one you can trade over to my alien multi-tool right here so let's actually look at before i've done anything i'm not going to add anything to it but it, it's at 3,996. And all I have to do is move this bolt caster, move the iron barrel, and scatter blaster over here. Actually, you know what? Scatter blaster over there. Boom. Move some stuff around, and you will see it goes up. Now, that didn't actually go up. That, that's kind of crazy. But we're going to install technology. Now, I have a blueprint already for the scatter blaster. So let's go find it. I'm going to right here the shell greaser. I need a chloride lattice. Dang it. We're going to have to get some some uh, materials. But I can't build that yet. So actually, we're going to go home. Now that we have our alien multi-tool, let's go home. Because we need to get some materials. We also need to buy some upgrades. So I will see you back home. So when you finally get back home, you want to go to the space station, all right? Now what we're looking for is an S-class upgrade for your scatter blaster. Remember, our multi-tool had our scatter blaster. But we also needed to upgrade some stuff and actually i bought some chlorine and i made a uh a chloride crystal where is it oh uh, i'm blind okay there it is chloride lattice excuse me so we should be able to install this now remember our damage right now is three nine nine six we're gonna add the uh upgrade it's a c class so it's not that big we need to do that and then insert that and now we're good right and now we're already up to 4,400. Now, look at this, the yellow square that just appeared around them. Like, if you pick it up and move it, there's no yellow square around it. And look at that. It's also, my damage potential is still at 3,996. 
but because it's touching, it's right next to each other, it just jumped up by 500 damage potential. And that's just the C class. So what you want to do is you land on the uh, your uh, space station, come over here to the multi-tool merchant. He will sell you upgrades, and depending on your space station, now you might not get lucky, you might not have it, so you might need to search for different space stations. But I have it here, so let's see. And we go down, 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 and I have a Scatter Blaster S class right here. So you buy that. 594 nanites, so you're gonna need a lot of nanites in order to do, the, to do this. So I have my, my upgrade right here. Now in order to install it, you hold down X if you're on play or on Xbox, Square if you're on PlayStation, and it'll let you install it. I'm gonna put it over here for now. I uh, see I put it over there and my damage potential went up to 4,500. So it went up by 100, but if I put it over here next to it, it just went up to 4,900. And if you look at my stats right there, my damage, my reload time, my clip size, they're all pretty good. Damage is 2% and uh, reload time, those, those are okay stats. Now, if you go back in there to the merchant, he's not gonna have anything else. See, we bought his one upgrade, so now it's grayed out, so it means we can't buy any more. Except if you go and uh, reload your save, so don't do it yet. Come on down here. You want to get into your spaceship, get back out, and now we created an autosave? Load your autosave. We just reloaded our autosave, so let's head back up there. I want to show you that it's real, that it will do this every single time. So instead of waiting, because I think it takes two hours for it to respawn, but well, we're not buying the multi-tool, we're buying the upgrades. So it'll take two hours normally, but if you just reload your autosave, it should be instant. So there it is. You can buy another one right there, boom. So now that you've seen that, let's actually keep buying some more. So I will see you guys in a minute after I bought a few more upgrades. So I've bought a few upgrades. Let's look at it real fast. I've bought six of them. Technically I bought seven. I installed another one because I'm dumb. I was so in the moment I was installing, I forgot I was gonna show you guys. So what you wanna look for are a couple of different attributes. So let's install this one real fast. So what you're actually looking for is damage and fire rate. Because if you can do more damage and fire faster, that is what you want to look for. So we don't have fire rate on any of these. So we're going to get rid of them. Because the most you can get is three in a slot. That's fine. Or three in a uh, inventory. That's fine. We still have a ton of them. So let's install some more. And we're looking for, there you go. I have damage plus two and fire rate plus 12%. So it'll fire 12% faster and do 2% more damage. That's what we're looking for. So let's keep, let's keep at it. So there we go. We have a damage plus 2% and a fire rate plus 11%. And there you go. That is how you max out. Now let's actually move this around a little bit because we can make this better. There we go, 9,344. Now, that's not with the best because you can actually get better stats. Now, this is what you want to do. We have our three bot, you know, upgrades installed. You can get three of them, plus this is our blueprint that we installed. So you can get an extra one if you have a blueprint. But the store bot upgrades, you can only get three of them. So if you had an A class, a B, and a C, you can only have three of each. Doesn't matter, or I shouldn't say of each. You can have only have three total. It doesn't matter if you have like one A and two S's. Those are three store bot upgrades. So you can only have three total. That's why you want to only get S class upgrades. But we're at 9,344 and that's not the best. Because you see if I add a fourth one right here. It overloads it and they're all broken. But if you look at it, it'll tell you what it'll do. And now this one will give me plus 2% damage, but there's no fire rate increase and so we don't want that one we need a fire rate increase so now everything's back to normal and what you what you should be doing is going through and min maxing so i'm gonna buy some more and i'm gonna try to get the best i can get so i'll see you guys in a minute 3 28 a.m so guys i i didn't think i'd be able to get to it but 
Look at this, my multi-tool. Damage potential, 10,404. Look at that, I have a dip. Look at, I have nothing else installed and I got it up to 10,000 damage. That is insane. This multi-tool does over 10,000 damage. Holy cow, that is insane. And so, and I haven't even maxed it out yet. I mean, look at this thing. I, the biggest ones to look at are damage and fire rate. Now I have a damage of 2%. What I saw, I did it about uh, 20 times or so. I, I bought 20 different upgrades. I saw a lot of 2 and 3% damage, but my fire rate, look at that, 14% on this one. I think I have a 15 in here somewhere. There you go. Damage or a fire rate, 15%. So I can't even imagine. If you were lucky enough to get a plus 3% damage and a plus 15% fire rate on all three of these, you might get up to 11 or 12, per, you know, tw tw 11 or 12,000 damage. That's insane. And what I noticed is, the other thing is, I had it all boxed up like that, and I was only getting up to 9,900, and I was like, what the world? Make sure your bl scatter blaster, the actual gun, is actually in the middle, and you have everything around it, and you have everything touching the scatter. Actually, you know what? Let's do this instead. Let's see if I can actually get it even better. So let's do this. No, doesn't really work that way. So you need the S classes touching. But I mean, look at that. That is craziness. That is insane. Over 10,000 damage on a on a multi-tool. That is crazy. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button for me. And don't forget to subscribe if you made it this far. And actually, if you made it this far, put down in the comments that you made it to the razor's edge. I want to see how many people get to the end of the video. So just put, just comment, made it to the razor's edge. I want to see how many people actually made it. So I will see you guys next time.